Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a speed test directly from your firewall. I'll be using OPN Sense Firewall for this tutorial, but the instructions will work for any open source firewall out there, be it PFSense, IPFire, VIOS, um, OpenWRT, DWRT, whatever you have out there. The only requirement is that you have Python 3 installed on that box. So without any further ado, let's get into tutorial. Here I've SSH'd into my OPN Sense firewall and on the left, what you can see is its web interface. So you're gonna see when we have a traffic spike, whenever I will be doing the speed test. Doing the speed test directly from the firewall will give you few benefits. For example, a few days ago, a client of mine called me up and said that they had very bad performance on their network overall, and they wanted to troubleshoot the issue. So the first thing I did was go on the firewall and test the speed directly from there. And the speed was fine. It was reaching nearly gigabit or something. Um, then I decided to troubleshoot further and it turned out it was the loop issue on the switch. And in order to perform such a speed test, I went on GitHub, I found a Python script that does exactly that, and I downloaded it on the OPN Sans box. The only thing you have to do is to issue the command in your terminal that looks like this. I'll leave everything down in the description below. Then you see that our script was downloaded and the only thing we have to do is to run it. Now, I don't feel like giving it execute permissions. So what I'll do, I'll just use Python 3 to execute it. And the command to execute it will look like this, Python 3 and then speedtest.py. So we ran the speed test, everything seems good. Um, as you can see here on the graph, there was a spike of the traffic and it was exactly 38 oh, um, or even 46 megabits. And this is not a very simple script. It can do so much more than just doing the speed test. For example, you can give it a list flag and what it will do, it will list all of the speed test servers that are closest to you. I've also piped it into had because the list is like a hundred servers long. And then after listing servers, you can actually do a speed test to a certain server. For example, we want to choose server 11445 from structured communications. And as you can see, the results are very similar to what we had before. On its own, it's not that useful, but for the folks out there who have multi gigabit internet connections, this is gonna be very good because you can run few speed tests in parallel to different servers in order to maximize the link and test its maximum speed. What you can also do is you can specify the source of the traffic. For example, when you have multiple VAN connections and you wanna test each one of them. And the syntax for that would be speed test minus minus source and then specify your external IP address. My OPN sense is behind the NAT. That's why I have the private IP address. But in your case, most of the time, it will be the public address. And if I run this, it gives me the exact same thing. There is also a secure flag because by default, speed test will run over HTTP. And if you want to run it over HTTPS, you have to give it minus minus secure flag. This will be useful for someone who has a very small system with low resources and wants to test the overall system performance with HTTPS. And here you can see the results on your screen as usual. Um, to be honest, my system is not very powerful. It's J1900 processor, I think, and four gigs of RAM. So it's, it's not that powerful of the system, but 
it could manage to give me the same speed over HTTPS as well. There are a few other useful flags like showing the speed test in bytes instead of bits. That way you know exactly what you're gonna expect from download and upload speeds. There are also a flag that will only test download speed or upload speed. So if you specify no download, it's gonna test the upload speed. And if you're gonna specify no upload, naturally it's gonna test the download speed. And as with most sensibly written Python scripts, you can specify multiple flags and the script will execute every single one of them. So in this example, I'm gonna do the upload speed test in bytes and over HTTPS. So yeah, there you have it guys. It was my overview of the Python speed test utility. You can effectively use it on any system that has Python installed on it. If you have any questions or suggestions for new videos, please post them down below in comments. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.